It was a bit nerve-wracking to know I was photographing something that was going to be around for another 150 years. I've been coming to Parliament Hill since I started in photography 50 years ago this year. I think it's probably the, the, the picture that will be looked at most of any other picture I've ever photographed. I've seen the picture that was taken 150 years ago today when the first House of Commons sat. It's a very different photograph from today, obviously. I positioned myself on top of the Burke's building, which would be equal to about two blocks from the steps where the parliamentarians were positioned. We had a member of the staff from the press gallery on the roof with us with a walkie-talkie talking to people on the ground. So we were able to tell them to move forward sideways. From up there, they all looked like little ants. Through the lens, I could see the parliamentarians, the prime minister. I recognized the prime minister, of course. He has his own little walk. So I recognized him. I recognized some of the ministers. This photograph was taken with a Nikon high-resolution camera. And then I have what's called a Gigapan. This is a device that was developed by NASA and Mellon University. As a matter of fact, I'm told that it was uh, used on the uh, Mars rover. This device cradles the camera and you point it at the top left and then you point it to the bottom right of your picture. So now the computer in the Gigapan knows how high and how low to go. And then it just starts shooting at 176 frames to create this one large file. It measures 10 by 12 feet. It took uh, 15 minutes from the first frame to the last frame to create this whole image. It looks great. <laughs> oh, we've taken 176 pictures and then with the special software from Gigapan, we're able to stitch those pictures and we can now view what everyone looked like. So we have a close up of the Peace Tower and the flag. Class of 2016, our MPs, our senators, our cabinet, speaker, everyone's here. And of course, we have a couple of Mounties keeping watch. I was very impressed that we held them that long. Photographers are the last of the real dictators because we can tell the prime minister, stand here for 15 minutes and don't move. And he didn't. <laughs>